How's it going everyone? So a couple years ago, I made an iPad Essential app video and those apps were absolutely amazing. But unfortunately, I went back and revisited that video and I noticed some of those recommended apps unfortunately are no longer free, nor do they have like a one-time purchase. Unfortunately, they all fell into the monthly subscription base. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and do an updated video of amazing apps that I will consider them to be essential apps without the BS monthly subscription. So as always, timestamps to all these apps will be in the video description down below for your pleasure. Let's get started. Starting off with one of the cool ones, that is Orion. So this is a really cool app because this allows you to use, let me show you what I use here real quick, your iPad as a monitor by simply just using a capture card. I'll have this link in the description down below, but as you see, this is how, well, I'm giving you some behind the scenes footage right here, but I utilize my existing iPads as portable displays instead of spending $100 more on buying like professional grade ones because the resolution on these iPads, even the iPad, Pro and especially the mini, they have really high resolution. But this allows me to simply just unplug and let's say I want to view something out of this portable DVD player, simply plug it into HDMI and take that capture card I was showing you earlier and simply just plug it into the USB-C iPad and hook up the HDMI to the DVD player. And just like that, we are watching cartoons and it does support audio too. So I'm going to mute this before I get copyrighted, but this is a must have essential because this again allows you to turn your everyday iPad into a portable monitor utilizing a very high resolution display compared to other portable monitors out there in the market. And these latest generation iPads have a really nice impressive peak brightness. So you can use this outdoors if you absolutely need to. Works with window computers and yes, it works with gaming consoles as well. It's so user friendly. I love it that it doesn't have any hidden fees or anything like that like I was stating earlier. It's an amazing app for that reason. And these portable HDMI cards, they're like 20 bucks or 12 bucks nowadays. They're much easier to obtain than they used to be. I have this one linked in the description down below as well as this portable DVD player if you're curious. And then our next app is Great for Infinity Canvas. If you're brainstorming on something, that's an example. I definitely highly recommend downloading this app and this is called ProDraft right here. So this is ProDraft. It does offer like a yearly subscription or a one-time purchase of $8. If you use this a lot, I would recommend doing it. But even the, just the base version itself has access to everything you could think of. So I could draw like this big line. Here we go. Sorry, I select the square. And I could continue drawing, drawing, and then zooming in, drawing. You could continue zooming in as you literally have like an endless canvas. So if you're brainstorming something big, like one thought after another, you could literally continue like your brainstorm idea. It literally is an in infinite canvas. And you create more pages too if you want. I have access to the undo as well as redo, pinpoint certain locations if you need to make like a quick note or a folder over here. It also supports PDF as well as every other document that's commonly used like Windows and such on here. And you do have access to all these pens. The description just gives you access to more additional tools over here on the side as you see right here. Like the ability to make a square into a straight a perfect shape and such. That's what the subscription offers. But even the free version, as you're seeing right now, I have access to like everything that I essentially consider myself to ever need. So yeah, definitely one amazing uh, canvas if you just want infinity workspace. Now, if you are a professional sketcher, I'm sure you heard about Procreate. Now Procreate, this is what Procreate mainly designed to be used for. So if you select like a resolution canvas, we like to use 4K as an example. If we go back in gallery as an example and we go all the way to the very bottom, you can make some amazing, impressive like art like this. They give you like little examples on what this app is capable of doing. But I personally have found really good use for like not only taking notes, but also I've been utilizing it to like do some of my thumbnails as you see right here, where I could literally just press on a thumbnail, hit layers, add a new layer, select the color that I want, and then just begin doodling. And if I want to change the penmanship style, I have these different styles to choose from. And you can also customize and modify even more. 
So now I have like this green glow effect as you see right here. And you can also delete, duplicate these layers. If you ever use Photoshop, this is somewhat similar. So I could do this. And I could also long hold to perfect the shape as you witnessed me do right there. Really awesome stuff. An amazing app for not just sketch drawing, but also just getting creative. And yeah, in the, in the sense, you can use this as a canvas if you're trying to brainstorm on something as well. It just doesn't support text inputs like off a keyboard. And this app is one of the OG ones because I've been using this all the way to the very beginning. And they, I'm glad to inform you, haven't yet created like a subscription base just to use their app. And they still continue adding new features to this very day. So definitely do check out Procreate for all your creative needs as well as note taking. And real quick, if you've been enjoying this video so far, if you could take two seconds to hit that like button on like, truly appreciate those because that allows the channel to be continued to be powered by you guys, the viewers, which is why you don't see integrated brands for like a sponsorship segment that takes up a minute or two of your time. I like to keep it this way and just straight to the point. So by hitting the like button on like, strongly does support the channel and allows it to, to be fully powered by you guys, the viewers, not brands. Thank you for those that took the time to do that. Let's resume. Now, iPads are really cool, but they're stuck on iPad OS, so they're very limited. An app that I like to use that allows me to remotely control my MacBook Pro, regardless where I am around the world, so long as I have a solid internet connection, and that is called Screen 5, right here. And here you can probably see my rush notes right there, but if I switch to a trackpad or a keyboard, I have full cursor control of my Mac. So right now I am actually using my MacBook Pro that I'm literally controlling remotely. Now this app is a one-time purchase, but they do include like a seven day free trial. You can also pay monthly as well as yearly. I believe it's $25 a year. But for somebody who's like looking into like having full desktop abilities on their Mac, this also works with Windows as well. And I believe Linux, you can also connect this this way as well. It's super easy to pair your devices to communicate with one another. But when it comes to like completing tasks, work logs, and you need like a full operating system of Mac or Windows, you could just utilize this. And you can re resume working while using your iPad, which is probably less expensive, depending on the iPad, than it would if you take your laptop and it would get damaged or stolen. So if you're looking for a way to control your computer from here, from your iPad, this will be definitely the app you'll, I'll recommend checking out. This will definitely be the app I'll recommend checking out. Just however, it is laggy as you can see right here. I'm connected to Wi-Fi 6E and you can see that my, re those are weird legs. Uh, you can see that it is a bit laggy when it comes to viewing your content. And the same goes for audio. There's no audio playing through here. There might be a mod or a setting you can able to do this, but as it sits right now, there's no audio. So it's not really a great tool to use for like editing on your Mac computer from your iPad, but it can get the work done if you absolutely need it as a last resort. So once more, this app is called Screen5. Now, if you ever take a screenshot and you like to send this to like a friend or a family member, by tapping done and save, if I disconnect my iPad from the keyboard, I'll highly encourage checking out ShareShot right here. This app is free to download. There's a subscription service, but even the free version is morty enough. And this allows you to choose your latest screenshot, give it full access, and basically creates like this canvas for you. You can use Photoshop to remove this watermark if you absolutely have to, but when it comes to just promoting stuff or sending screenshots to other people or uploading stuff on social media to make it look professional without using Photoshop, this is a really easy app to use and I love it. So as you see right here, that screenshot I recently took and I can hit, immediately hit the up arrow and save it. And now if I go in my photos, I have it right here. And look how good it is versus sending this to somebody. So it definitely is a cool app for that cool feature. I know this isn't the first app that done this. I've seen this before, but it's also available on iPhones. And again, you have these variety of different styles to choose from. This one's Instagram ready. And you can also change the background from here as well. And then here you'll see the pro features as well. But since they offer a free version, I think this is a good app for, for social media uploading. Now, when it comes to taking notes, one of the most underestimated ones, probably a native one from Apple, because in a classroom setting or anywhere that you need to take like audio notes and convert it to a transcript, it'll be located in the paperclip icon and then tap on record audio and then just tap record. And while you're in the classroom or a meeting, just 
allow your iPad to do this, you can also do this on the iPhone too and then airdrop it to your iPad for later. And then once you're done, stop. And then on the top right, tap on these little icons and boom, it literally transcript everything. You can also tap summary and it'll do a quick summary using Apple intelligence of everything that was basically talked about. This is absolutely incredible. It's much better than subscribing to these like transcript subscription services because when you click on one, yeah, it'll get the job done. But when you hit add and then select the file and then select it like so, import, it will do it. But it requires you to buy time and it's it's pretty much like a fortune. So if you're trying to convert like an MP4, MP3 file, I'm sorry, to notes, just go on the iPad notes, tap here, go to voice recorder, record it, and then it should automatically scribe it all automatically for you free of charge without paying a subscription. And then when it comes to entertainment, I hands down the best app I found is Delta Emulator. This app allows you to import all your favorite ROMs from your Game Boy Advance games to N64 to Nintendo DS, Game Boy Advance as I previously stated, and much more. And then if you're missing like game cover art, you can just long hold, select change artwork, and then go in bait database. And you'll be able to find it here after you change the settings and tap search. Let's change the title, I mean. And then you can just save it right here, even though I messed up. I meant to select N64. There we go. And boom. And then this is super quick because as soon as you launch it, it immediately launches the game. And it does save. And it's all synchronized with your iCloud. So if you're playing on your iPhone, as an example, and this game is much fun to play, especially when you have a pair with a compatible gaming controller like an Xbox One, a PlayStation 5, or even a Nintendo Switch or a third-party wireless controller onto this. If you'd like to see how I was able to set this up, including like, I do a full in-depth tutorial video rail over there because this is also compatible on the iPhone. But here you're seeing in real time how smooth the game is able to render and run on an iPad. But even playing on landscape iPad mode, the screen is big enough that not once have I ever struggled, especially on a flat surface like this, on playing this game. It's super crazy that you could do this nowadays. But yeah, this game is absolutely fun. Of course, you could play many other your favorite games here as well. Although some of the things, there we go, I was able to do the flip right there, are somewhat limited, but yeah. And once you're done, select menu, main menu, and here you're back here. And you can play a lot of your favorite classics, including your DS game as well. And then this, the theme of your controller, you can also customize it as well. Again, I highly recommend checking out that emulator game that I put up in the corner on how to set this up. It's really easy, especially when you synchronize it all with your iCloud. Now, when it comes to video editing, you can't beat Final Cut, even though there is a subscription, but if you want something free, there's DaVinci as well as iMovie. Those are probably the best uh, editing programs available on the iPad for all your video editing needs. And just like that, those are all the cool apps that you should definitely consider downloading to get the most out of your iPad, especially that HDMI app that allows you to convert a USB-C iPad into a portable monitor. Once again, links to everything will be in the description down below, as well as some iPad accessories I have and the iPad that I'm using in today's video as well. Thank you once again for watching, but real quick before you click off on this video, if you wish to watch more, check out this video over there where I go through my favorite settings you can enable on a pair of AirPods. And the video down there is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thank you once again for watching.